D5 Render just released version 2.6 and, as always, I'll cover the best features. We got a lot of them this time, starting with number 1, AI Atmosphere Match. The AI Atmosphere Match will copy the mood, sky and general colors from an image you provide. All you have to do is upload the image you want and the AI will do the rest. As you can see, it copies the style of this image quite well. Stay tuned because next week I'll make a tutorial covering this new feature. And number 2 is UV Randomizer. This is one of my favorites. There's nothing worse in a render than noticing the repetition of the texture. Our eyes can spot this quite easily. And the result is a render that is not realistic. So this new version got this fixed. You can randomize the texture with just a click of a button, making it not repetitive. Pretty cool, right? Next is Multimedia Material Transparency. Another great feature. Now you can add movies with transparency. And why is this great? Well, let me show you one of the things you can do. That's right, you can download from stock video sites, fire and particle videos, and then load them to D5 Render. And this is the result. Compare it with the typical fire particles, and you can see why this is a big thing. Super realistic, since you can control the emissive value of the fire video as well. And number 4 is AI Generated Material Texture Maps. You know how important it is to have all the maps for the realistic material. So, now even if you have only the color map, you can let AI do its magic and create not only the normal map, but the roughness and height map as well. And if you want to make some changes to these newly created textures, you can always right-click the map on the material editor and click Open File Location. Now you can simply open in Photoshop, for example, to make some edits. Next is Local Exposure. With this, you get two new options in the Exposure settings. Highlight Local Exposure and Shadow Local Exposure. This can improve the dynamic range of the image, making the scene well balanced in terms of color and brightness and achieving a more realistic effect. And feature number 6 is Plane Fog Models. Now you have 7 new plane fog models. These take fewer resources from your computer and they look just as good. Look at this scene with and without these plane fog assets. Makes a big difference. Next is Flowing Water Material. We already had water material for lakes, seas and pools. But now this new feature allows the simulation of materials such as waterfalls, running water, river streams and other types of flowing water you can imagine. For example, you can even add this material to simulate an open tap of water. Pretty cool, huh? Stay tuned for a future video exploring more on this subject. Next is Rectangle Light Attenuation Intensity. A new parameter was added to strip and rectangular lights, which allows for the control of light, attenuation distance and adjust the irradiation range of the rectangle light. When the value is zero, the effect is the same as in previous versions of D5 Render. And number nine is new procedurally generated vines. Now you can add these vines and adjust the settings to fit your design needs. You can find them in the nature category under vine. As you can see, when placing them on a wall, it shows this blue leaf shape decal you can just press Generate and scroll through the various vine designs it gives you. And by the way, if you want to dive deeper into D5 Render, you can join my D5 Render course. It covers from beginners to advanced interiors, exteriors and animation. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. And number 10 is Custom Sun in Geo and Sky. Before, you could only adjust the sun intensity and sun disk radius. Now, you can also customize the sun's position in the sky by altitude and azimuth. Next one is importing FBX with materials. This is a very interesting new feature, because even though D5 Render has their plugin for 3ds Max, sometimes Lime Exporter works better, especially exporting vegetation assets and fixing models that have some errors. So now you can use Lime Exporter for D5 Render as well. Here I'm exporting this sofa with Lime Exporter, 
and I'm going to import the F2X file into the 5 render. As you can see, it has all the textures ready. Next is walk mode. Now you can walk in your scene by clicking this icon on top and selecting walk. This allows you to have a better feel of the space you are creating. Number 14 is drag and drop material maps. I really like this one. I often open my textures folder to see which textures I want to use. And now I can simply drag and drop the textures to each slot. <laughs> Good one, D5. Next one is Unity Display of Light Sources. There are new Unity Display settings for more accurate adjustments. There's Luminous Intensity, which is in Candela, and Luminous Flux, which is in Lumens. When you're purchasing a light for your home, in the box you can see how bright the light can be with the Lumens value. And the next feature is D5 Live Sync for 3ds Max. Now, D5 Render supports real-time synchronization with 3ds Max with their latest plugin. This allows you to view the results and render while editing your models and materials in 3ds Max without having to always click on the Update button. Next up is New Assets. There are many new assets in this new version, like the new HDRI library, where you can search and directly apply a new HDRI. new futuristic particles which even support adding keyframes for animation. There's also new scanned characters from different regions around the world, which even include 92 animated ones. And there are many more features, so I invite you to check them all on the new version of D5 Render. I'll leave a link below so you can try it out. Don't forget to give this video a like, and let me know in the comments below which feature you like best. And I'll see you in the next one.